Hey, what's up, guys? This is One Shot at Zero Kills, and today I have episode 5 of my uh, modding tutorial series. Alright, so like I said in the last episode, uh, we're done coding, and now we need to add in the textures. Uh, then we can test it in Eclipse, and then we could uh, reobfuscate it and then uh, actually release our mod, right? So now, uh, this is the texture uh, zip file, so we're going to double click on that. Uh, I use a WinRAR, but you guys can use 7-Zip or any other program that you want. I just like WinRAR, honestly. Uh, plus, it says, if you saw that, hold on. When you open it up, it says that you have to buy it. But it never, like, makes you buy it. So it's like unlimited trial or whatever. So that's cool. Alright, so we're going to go to our uh, uh, MCP folder. And then go to Jars. And then go to Bin. And then go to Minecraft.jar double click on that you can open it uh, with uh, WinRAR like I said and now we're just gonna paste our files like I said before so let me show you how to do that uh, and then control select them and then control C and then go in the Minecraft jar uh, just click in here then control V and then just click OK and now uh, when we go into Eclipse uh, we should be able to run our uh, mod and, and Minecraft I mean so let's go to file. I'm in the wrong workspace, so I need to switch back. So I need to go here. I'm just going to let it load, and then once it loads, we're going to actually run it. All right, so let's run it. I'm going to wait for it to build. This may take a while because I'm recording. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, though. All right, so here we go. Uh, the mod started up. And look at that. I ha already have this in my item because I did it before. Uh, but you could get it from... The creative menu right here experience log it'll say that there's zero levels because it starts out with nothing in it if we give ourselves some xp uh, we can now right click on this and deposit xp or we can withdraw xp and then to close it we could hit escape or to close it we could hit e because that's uh, my inventory button currently all right so now let's actually craft one of these uh got an outer crafting table and now I believe the recipe is uh, two books and a glass bottle, I think. So let me see if that works. Um, a bottle, there we go. Alright, so let's go in here. I think it's a book, book, and then a bottle, if I remember right. No, okay, that's not it. Hmm. What is it? Let me go look. Alright, so I changed it so it's two books a bottle and then a book so let me change that it, I, I forgot to change it back when I did that hold on so this should just this should just be one a here so then we have it book a glass bottle book like it should be I guess I when I was making the tutorial I forgot to change it back you guys probably laughed at me so uh, let me get that stuff back okay so glass bottle book up here book up there and there we go we got our experience log and then we have this nice GUI here it's all centered if we go full screen uh, there we go. It's still centered. Hopefully that didn't mess up fraps. Otherwise that really sucks All right, so there we are uh, It works fine, and now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, release this mod or build it I mean so you can actually run it in your minecraft uh, main minecraft uh, dot jar So it's going to save All right now we're going to exit out of clips We're going to navigate to our MCP folder uh, mines and documents tutorial mods and XP log uh, we're going to go to recompile. And now it's just going to recompile everything. Uh, because we've made changes, we need to recompile it. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. It normally takes anywhere between 3 seconds and 10 seconds, uh, depending on your computer, obviously. And now we're going to go to reobfuscate. Uh, what this is going to do, it's going to make it so that uh, we can actually release our mod. And it's going to generate the class files in a folder. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, this normally takes around 10 seconds as well. Alright, now just click enter. And now you'll see in our re -upfuff, our e OBF folder in Minecraft, uh, we have our class files, and that's good and all, uh, but we're missing our texture. So now we need to go back, so back, back, and then go back into our jars folder, and then bin, and then Minecraft. And then we're going to want to select those... Uh, textures or if you guys want you could just take it from the zip file it's the exact same thing you know so let's go uh, xp log that folder paste that in 
And now we have our beautiful textures. Yep, okay. Now we can exit out of uh, WinRAR. Uh, like I said before, you could just take it uh, from uh, uh, this zip file right here. It doesn't really matter which zip file you take it from. So now uh, we have this. Now using WinRAR, we're just going to highlight all of this. Uh, right click, compress an email, then name it mod underscore experience log 1.2.5.0. Uh, dot zip and just click OK and then OK over here and then close and now uh, we have it all zipped up and now we could put this zip file in our mods folder of Minecraft so percent app data on Windows uh, if you guys didn't catch it that was really fast let's do that slower so go to click here on the Windows uh, if you guys don't have Windows 7 uh, you're just gonna wanna go to run so I don't know where that is on your computer just go to run and now over here, type in percent app data, and then OK. And now it's going to open uh, uh, this directory, and let's click on .minecraft, and then mods. We can just paste that in there, and now we could actually uh, play it in Minecraft itself. Uh, don't update. Uh, this is only for 1.2.5. All right, so here. There it is down there. Uh, I don't know why it's down there, but I guess it is in this mod. So here we go, guys. Uh, that's it. And you'll see that it works. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, the, ne the next video that I'm making, it's probably going to be about installing uh, MCP uh, for Minecraft 1.3. And then uh, if you guys want, I, can make an, I could remake uh, tutorial video 1, uh, my make your own modding, make your own mod uh, tutorial. In that tutorial, episode 1, I uh, show you guys how to install the Java software development kit and uh, set your path variable. I've been getting a couple of questions about that, so if you guys uh, want me to do that, just post in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to make that video. Alright, that's it for today. Bye, guys.